Hey boss babes, it's your girl Maya Chanel. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm so excited. I haven't been on here in a while. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on, you know, my entrepreneurial journey, um, help you guys out with some tips, some branding, some marketing tips, and just share a few things that have been helping me build my mindset. That's a really big thing of mine is mindset. So for anybody who is, um, has always been here and has been a part of the tribe, welcome back. If you're not, let me introduce myself. My name is Maya Chanel. I'm a 23 year old entrepreneur, philanthropist, author, speaker, and coach. Yes, like I'm certified and all that. I know, so it's a handful, it's a handful, but you know, your girl, it's, it's just making moves, okay? So I want you all, all my boss babes tuning in here today. I want everyone to win. So I'm here to share some of my tips, some of my um, experience on my journey and just know that I'm not just starting. I started this, I'm 23 now. I started my entrepreneurial journey when I was 16 with my own first online shopping boutique. And then while I was in college, I had a virtual assistant company where I connected virtual assistants with executives around the, the country. So it's, this is not the first rodeo. So if you don't know, now I help new and small business owners brand and market their businesses to scale their income. I also have my own fitness line called Fire Drip. Um, ladies, go check it out, guys. We'll come for you guys later. We'll come for you guys later. <laughs> and then so that all that was all pre-COVID. So now during COVID, now I um in addition to what I, you know, was doing pre-COVID, I have started my own organization called Her Right to Dream, where it's centered and focused around empowering and bringing awareness to women around the world. You know, no matter your economic, your social, your racial, or I don't know, um cultural. Um, I, I don't know why I could not get that word out. Your cultural differences, you have the right to dream without limitations. You have the right for someone to not tell you that you can't do anything. You can do it, you can achieve it, and I just want for women and girls around the world to know that. With that organization, I started my own podcast called Made to Dream, and I feature a lot of women who have built their own businesses, who are going through different circumstances, who have just want to educate, empower, and bring an awareness to women and girls around the world. So I'm so excited for that. If you guys want links to the episodes, I'll put them in the description in the description and you can follow the Facebook or Instagram page for live updates. But that is a quick update. Um, as far as branding, you know, as me helping others brand and build their businesses is an everyday thing, but I still have to do it for my businesses as well because branding never stops. You have to continuously update, make things, keep things fresh, keep things new, keep things interesting. So for instance, I created a new website for my business, my um, marketing and branding business. So been working on that, been pretty busy. So I haven't been giving you guys a lot of updates on my entrepreneurial journey, just more or less lifestyle because I don't want to I don't want things to get too stale or boring. So I just kind of, you know, have to bring up, switch things up sometimes for you guys. Um, I know you guys want to see the whole thing. And it's literally, I can't sit here and just talk to you guys about business because that is not my whole life, okay? It's not my whole life. But for Fire Drip, I've been thinking of spicing things up, keeping it interesting. So a big part of branding is packaging. Let me show you guys. I reached out to some design experts and got this box made. And I'd really, really, really love your thoughts on it. Um, would you think that it would be something just for an everyday user to, or a customer to receive their products in, or do you think it's a bit too much, maybe something for influencers? Um, how do you guys feel about it? I do love to get customer outreach feedback just because sometimes I may feel a certain way about something, but it's best to get multiple feedback, multiple versions of feedback so that you know how everyone feels and you get different versions and different feedback from everyone. So look for feedback. Feedback is important. I never, never, never reject feedback. Um, and this is what the inside look like. looks like. It says, hello, gorgeous, has a nice little rose gold color and yeah, so that's the box. So you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Um, I really, really, really do appreciate pre appreciate you guys and your opinions and, you know, the little tips that you guys share. 
little things here and there I really really do appreciate it so keep them coming but um so yeah that's a quick update on you know everything that I've been doing if you guys are interested you want to talk about it hit me in the comments I listen y'all can see below that I literally answer just about every comment unless it's like super offensive or anything I answer just about every comment so I know that sometimes it can be super super hard to just stick with the business mindset entrepreneurship is hard okay it's hard um, especially during this time in COVID there's a lot going on we're trying to figure things out and I think the best way to do this is to first work on your mindset so I wanted you guys to know about uh, um, two books that I have listened to during this quarantine well in the past week actually I was listened to these two books and I've read the first book before but I, you know sometimes you got to read things again to get into it you know get like get it in like really marinate it into your system <laughs> okay so first book that I suggest for you guys to read is Rich Dad Poor Dad because it does give you a different outlook on life and it helps to show you how there are different people in the world thinking different ways and it helps shape your mindset to be that go-getter be that person that wants to think outside of the box. Be that person that thinks unconventionally and unconventionally because if you don't want to be average, if you don't want an average business, you have to think outside the box. There's no way around it. You have to think outside the box. You can't do the same thing everyone else is doing. And everyone's business is unique, so it just opens up your mind to think, to feel, to evolve into a new version of yourself. The second book that I've read is The New Cycle Cybernetics. And let me tell you, like this book is definitely all mindset. It talks about a lot of things like being satisfied, being happy, you know, thinking of things in a new way, thinking unconventionally. I mean, it, it just kind of like gets you to think like, wow, like, okay, am I really happy? Why do I want this? And that like, goes to say it helps you with your branding, it helps you with your marketing, it helps you with the structure of your business. And like I said, I'll probably be recording this video coming up soon so you guys can see it and I'll go through like different branding strategy tips for service businesses and product based businesses. So um, that's a quick update that I want to give you guys. Don't want to make this video super long but I did miss you guys um, with the whole entrepreneurial journey thing and I wanted to share a few things with you guys. So like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below Hello. I can't wait to chat with you guys and if you're new to the channel subscribe to join the tribe because boss babe we only going up from here everybody can win until next time it's your girl Maya Chanel and I'll see you guys on the next video